What is going on? Listen, this is Chris Gmo back with another video and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Kwanzaa, all the shebang to everybody. Now, in this uh, broadcast, I really want to talk about uh, something that I just picked up on the other day. Um, as young blacks, we are taught individual progress over collectively coming together as a group in today's generation and I thought about it you know um, looking at um, today's music scene you know I remember growing up we had Boys to Men we had New Edition who for some of the um, OGs or some of the young bloods like myself who were yet raised correctly we, we probably heard this song at least once or twice in our lives but we grew up and there were just a thousand different uh, girl groups, male groups, and R&B, hip hop, and it was so celebrated to see them together and doing their thing. And what's happened now is, whenever we see two or three really, really good, whether it be brothers or sisters, we see two black men together, two black women together on the same team. What is the first? narrative and uh, rhetoric that the media presents they turn it into a, a power struggle uh, type of scenario for example uh, the last good group that we saw together was the Carolina Panthers until you know Cam Newton you know lost his balls uh, before that you know it was uh, let me just go off the top of the head uh, YMCMB Drake uh, Young Money and them uh, Lil Wayne and all them and you know the whole time this narrative is oh well, well Drake's the man of wine to be it ain't Wayne no more it's Drake now you know uh, the Miami Heat we really saw it with them Dwayne Wade LeBron they just threw Chris Bosh under the bus every day and they kept going well is it LeBron team or is it Wade team and you know for NBA fans you're seeing that play out right now with the Golden State Warriors consistently um, they tried to do that with the Chicago Bulls with Jimmy Butler and Dwayne Wade, but D-Wade wasn't going for that because he'd been through it already. Uh, they tried it with the Knicks, with Melo and D-Rose and uh, them, but D-Rose wasn't going for it either. But we saw that same narrative break up Shaq and Kobe back in the day. Um, what was the last really good male music group that we saw collectively standing together to get shit done? Excuse language, but let's let's be real. Besides YMCMB, I think the only one that comes to mind in recent memory would be G Unit, and we watched them self destruct for different reasons, primarily being ego as well as other things. But um, even Destiny's Child for the ladies, Beyonce. What's been the last really good female group since Destiny's Child? You know, Beyonce went solo. Michelle went and did her thing. Kelly did her thing. And I'm sure they're still cool, but why haven't we gotten a Destiny's Child reunion tour? Like, the closest thing we got was one Super Bowl performance. Like, we rarely see those three eating dinner together or even just being in the same city together now. It, it's rarely seen. You know, um,. I don't think it's a coincidence that a lot of young uh, black men, young black women, we grow up with these. Um, the image on TV is that you've got to be this individual. It's got to be 100 percent you, because if you, you know, uh, find yourself uh, working with another black person, you're going to have to argue with them. You're going to have to fight with them over whose team is it? Does this belong to you? Does this belong to that one? You know, but at the same time. Um, you come overseas, you come over here and you look at the narrative that is consistently pointed within the Japanese culture. When you turn on the TV, all you see are girl groups. All you see are boy bands over here, whether it's hip hop groups or whether it's um, their you know, little J-pop groups over here. It's usually nine times out of ten a group thing. It's a rarity to see a solo artist. You know, when someone over here goes solo, it is huge news. They're like, oh, my God. They're going solo. They're leaving the group. Like, pe people lose their minds because the group's breaking up. You know, kind of like how we did when Bobby Brown left a new edition or um, 
you know, just watching these groups break up. Um, the public announcement with R. Kelly back in the day. Um, man. Like, man, just look at how the OGs came up, man. That that may be another thing that we don't look at as black people as to why, you know, today's youth uh, looks as lost as we uh, seem to be. How we tend to, nine times out of ten, not reach out and ask for help even though we need it. Because, you know, from what we've seen on TV, perhaps we've been mentally conditioned to believe that You've got to do it all on your own if you want uh, to be successful, which is a blatant lie. I mean, who in this life is going to make it on their own when guys go to job interviews? They they're all about being individuals. You know, I got a a buddy of mine still lives in Chicago and, you know, he uh, had to get ready for a job. interview. It must have been a year or two ago. By the way, he does have a job now before y'all start rolling your eyes like, oh, bomb ass. No, no, no. He. He got his stuff together. But I remember two, three years ago, it was hard for him because he's sitting down and he got this big fro of hair. And we're like, man, you got to cut your hair, man. Why I got to cut my hair? Well, they need to accept me as I am. Me, 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 me. All about himself and everything. And I'm like, dude, man, you got to put all that stuff about you aside and get that paper, man. You know, and then eventually he did end up, you know, uh, you know, um, getting his hair right so uh he can get that job and yeah he he making that paper now but i mean that's one example i'm sure that you know we all have different examples of seeing you know the lone wolf club of uh of brothers who we tend to because this hasn't just started this has been going on for a long time man like like even r&b got knocked down i mean we had uh we had rap back in the day, uh, Public Enemy seen as a group, Bone Thugs, um, Mo Thugs in Harmony, even NWA, even though they self-destructed this group. Of course, you know, I think the media will encourage a hip hop group because hip hop is such a destructive uh, type of, uh, you know, uh, genre where we got people getting shot every five seconds. So, yeah, y'all y'all could be in a group in that. But R&B singing songs about love, shaking hands, kissing babies like the Temptations used to do. Like the Jackson Five, he do where they parted amicably, and Michael went on to do his thing, and the brothers went to do their thing. Nah, we can't have that no more. <laughs> we can't show you know um, that when you work together, you get more stuff done. You know the the harmony and the unity within uh, black people that that cannot be shown anymore, especially amongst young black men and black women. I mean, any any form of more than one black person together, we see this in, in the job as well. When you're at work and there's more than one black person standing together, like two of y'all just talking, you got that one random white person that's going to walk by and look at you. And if it's three of y'all, they'll be, oh, yeah, it's too many black people. Come on, y'all. We got to talk after work. <laughs> it's said in a joking way, but we know how true that is. You know, um, it does make people uncomfortable to see whether it's, you know, two black men standing together, just just yapping or two or more black women standing together. yapping. It, it does make people uncomfortable. Um just the reality of the world we live in but what do y'all think about this um the way the media has done this um as far as um from a media standpoint we can't blame it all on the media because as fans we do it too and we are beyond guilty doing that when lebron went to miami we were the first people saying oh it's way team no that about to be lebron team same when Wade went to uh Chicago. Oh, that's Wade team now. No, that Jimmy team now. So we're we're guilty of doing that as well. But the only image that we really see <laughs> of black men working together is football and basketball. And then even then, they're not necessarily working together. You know, when you know uh, Antonio Brown scores a touchdown, you know he's working with. It's always pointed out by the media. Oh, that's because of Ben Roethlisberger. You know, um, y'all can take that however y'all want to take it. Or his own individual uh, talents are pointed out. You know, oh, the explosiveness, the speed. Ah, you know. But what y'all think of that? Images of a group of black people are no longer promoted by the media at all. If you've seen one outside of football, the NBA or the NFL, please let me know. 
Remember when Obama ran for the election? He got that support from that one brother, and he had to completely cast him aside to get any more support. Well, maybe that's a bit more of an extreme uh, way, but what y'all think? I'm out.